Hey y'all, I'm back after another hiatus and in glorious 4K this time. I but have no fear, I did do a lot of progress on the Ganymede here. Here we are in the new deflector. Let's get back into this is a brand new design deflector right here. This is mostly what I've been doing. Most of the bottom decks here. Yeah, it's a kind of like Shad's ether. I don't know what that thing is. It's got the nice lens here. Here, I'll get far away. I'll go back to regular. Nice. I like it. So does everyone else, so that's good. If you're wondering what the old one looked like, here we are. There's a new one not designed yet. And that's the old one. Yeah, this one's definitely a lot better. All I did was stood like right here and made a big old lo uh, really long sphere and then cut off the end and cut out like that. As you can see, there's a sphere in here. It was pretty easy. It was a pain to cut out though. Alright, let's venture on inside, why don't we? Okay, here's the main systems for the deflector. This is very new. Um, this, I, to my knowledge, this hasn't been done this way before. Usually it's just a straight shot straight back with the emitter cone thing. And then whatever this thing is, I don't know all the terminology. And it just keep goes straight. But this has opposing systems. If you look at the mini map up there on the right, you can see how it's laid out. Since I had to do that because the core is right here and there's not a lot of space, and I want to be able to put a corridor right here. Even without the corridor, I wouldn't have had enough room. Okay, I don't know what deck this is. Here we have two cargo elevators. These lead all the way up to the torpedo deck and maybe some other cargo bays along the way. This is mass storage up here. Here's the launchers. Same on the rear one over there. That's not been fleshed out yet though. This is um, Queen Carrie's warp core, I believe. I think she made that when she first joined. It was a while ago. Here's the top. There's some of the skate pods. I'm sure you saw that in the last video escape pod wise if you remember it anyways if I go down to this deck I can go down to the war the antimatter systems here we have um, storage mass storage pods right here that are carted upwards and out the door or in and carted downwards so they can rapid fire be ejected if the need arises. Hopefully not. Here, I'll go ahead and get rid of the copy. I kind of broke some stuff with the copy, i.e. this thing, so I had to get rid of it before I crashed. If I crash without undoing it, it's just there permanently until you delete it. Okay, this is the, the line that sort of goes in and then this is like a, this regulates the flow obviously this line goes to the generators this generates the mat any matter over here there's gonna be a system right here and then these two things are antimatter injector thingies once again these are completely not done yet We go up here, there's going to be, actually on this deck, there are windows that go into it. <sighs> Sorry, I've been editing all day. Here's the 
high bay for the technically that's the high bay because it has an observation window for the deflector this is once again the cargo elevator down here we have a little platform that empties into the corridor This is going to be a window of sorts, just so it's a little more condensed. Maybe I'll have some catwalks right here. I haven't decided yet. It might, might be interesting. I probably will. I think this is like deck 32. I don't remember how many decks it has, if I'm being totally honest. I'm just glad I got a lot of the under area fleshed out, you know. Let me move the mic closer to me. That's for computer core. It still needs to be detailed. It's mostly going to be stacked. Tiny shuttle. Oops. All right. Uh, what else have I been doing today? Other than that, there's not much else. But I did do some stuff up here in the saucer. I did some turbo lift work. Previously, this was this and that, plus some turbo lifts. There wasn't enough turbo lifts on this deck, so I extended it from here, out this way, across, all the way around, and added a junction for repairs. Oh, there's creeps. And there's another one right here. That was it. To add some time to this video, I will be taking a look at the Kelvin that Troy's been working on. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. We have a warp system now, so that's a good thing. Yeah, he's been blowing everyone away with this. Got uh, insane ass teching. I think just as the top of the saucer and the lower pylon is completed, ass tech wise, this still needs some work. It looks like. Currently, he's doing the nacelle, which is over there somewhere. Can't really see it. I'm loving this. Here we are, the bridge in the bridge. Started in 2020, so or late last year. I think that's the computers. He doesn't have a lot on the inside. But mostly it's fleshed out. Whoa, what's that thing? I don't know. Cool though. Oh, he has like a bulkhead sort of thing. I don't know what you call it. Here is the impulse engines. If I can get out of here. I'm kind of stuck. Right there is your impulse engines. Those are coolant tanks. He had to tell me what those were because I had no idea. He and Creeper are pretty good. Creeper's online right now, it looks like. Here's a little area right here. 
I'm just spitballing here. I don't know much about this. Where is... Screw it. There we go. That's better. Blue would kill me if he knew I was <laughs> not using spectator. <laughs> okay, now we are in the main shuttle bay. If we go over here, we can see the exact path the captain took. I think he went up these stairs, and then he went around to the shuttle, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. And that's how it was designed, just so it can mimic that path and be accurate. And where's the nacelle? Yeah, he's doing some nacelle work. Which is nice. It's definitely in the early stages. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but it's cool. I'll take a quick glance at the Shenzhou, Prober, and the Sea. I'm gonna have to sign off. He's going crazy with this guy. He has this really insane. I wish this was mirrored. It looks crazy when it's mirrored. I think the big mechanical bay is in one of these. There is... I'm not sure what that is. Huh. No idea. Maybe some kind of sensor? Oh, there's signs. <laughs> they don't know what it is either. That's noted. Okay, there's a mechanical bay. I love the look of this. It has a claw and, and stuff. It's pretty cool. He's a pretty good builder. Down here. I think I've shown of you guys the ship in the video. I'm not sure. Here's a bridge. On the bottom. Very interesting. Here's a Probert. That's not it. There it is. That's the old one right there. Here's our Probert. The Enterprise Ambassador. Enterprise C. I'll just call it an, a Probert Ambassador. I love the colors in this. It's pretty cool. It's definitely got that 24th century vibe to it. It's got a separate whole separation plane. We are inside the computer core. Where we are inside the nacelle. The bridge on this guy is pretty cool too. I'm getting some lag here. 4K is no joke. This isn't quite done, it looks like. Oh, that's a torpedo launcher. That's interesting. I didn't know there was down one down here. Interesting place for one. The bridge on this is pretty cool. Not done yet, but it's pretty cool. I 
I think this one is more complete. Yeah, this one is a lot more complete. A lot more complete than it was last time I saw it. I have it on low settings, if you couldn't tell. I have a great computer, but 4K Minecraft is not my friend. We have this guy. I have this set on max quality. It's going to be a big file. This, this either droids or atros. I don't know whose it is. Actually, atros is up here. I am pretty sure. Yeah, I think that was atros. I do believe this is. Not sure what era this is. I think it's just a normal TMP Connie, but I'm not sure. I'm sure Atro or someone will correct me in the comments section. I like it in here. Pretty cool. Once again, I've been kind of gone, so I don't know. <sighs> There's waffles ship right there. No, sorry, it's this one. I will finish off with him. Where's the bridge at? Did he rip out the bridge? I think that's the bridge. Is it? Yeah, it is. There it is. Coolio. Sarah CMB. No, I don't think so. Nope, that's not CMB. Is this? Nope, these are just different versions. It has a very interesting hull detailing to it. I like it. My deflector is kind of based on this design. I mean the shape, not everything else. Alright. I think I'll end here. Alright, well, I'll see you guys later, and uh, ciao.